Hey, this is Erin Lincoln, and welcome to the last day of the March 2014 release. Today I'm introducing my coin purse dies, which you can see here. I've made two little coin purses. Very simple, very easy. You uh, Same set makes a shorter one like this that holds a little gift card and, you know, a little makeup, little coins, money. And you can also fold it in the opposite direction and have more like a pencil case. So one set of dies, two coin purse options for you. And of course you're seeing some new uh, stitching dies as well. And there are little pencils sticking out of that zipper. And yes, we're putting in a zipper and it is so easy. I'm going to show you how. There's nothing to be scared of. But first, here are the dies. You have the coin purse rectangle. It makes this size. And I have a zipper at the top and there's a little pocket inside. We do have uh, pocket stitching dies too. And those are new seasonal stitching bird dies. And when you use the larger zipper die and fold it in the opposite direction, you get more like this pencil case with the zipper. Don't freak out of the zip, over the zipper. Trust me, piece of cake. And there's a little butterfly seasonal stitching dies. Okay, we're going to get right onto this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm going to make the uh, like shorter, more traditional coin purse for you today getting out my vagabond and I'm going to be very very careful with how I make my uh, platform. I'm going to make sure everything is nice and even um, because this is such a large die and we want those holes to be cut out of felt. I'm using two paper shims the full size of my platform and I just found that with my machine this is the best way to do it. There's my cutting plate and here's some aqua mist felt. Now when I designed these dies to maximize the dimensions of our felt. It fits perfectly with very little waste. I'm going to turn it upside down so it cuts into the felt. And you know if you're familiar with our stitching dies like our Coffee Cozy and uh, Clever Brett covers, you know what these dies do is they cut the shape and the stitching holes for you. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to run this through a few times to make sure all those little fibers are severed and cut. Probably back and forth would be plenty, but because we're on video, I want to make sure it's right. And I'll show you a little bit after how maybe I shouldn't have done this. There was a little mistake, I think, doing it the third and fourth time, and I'll show you that later. But for our purposes on this video, it's not a big deal. All right, you see we have stitching holes on this nice rectangle, which is approximately, I think, like five, a little less than five and a half by seven. So we're going to fold that in half. All right, these are our zipper dies, and it's going to cut holes for the zipper and stitching holes around it. Now it's the same width as the coin purse die, so it's easy to line up. And what I would do. I would be very careful here, but you know, just a little uh, attention to detail. Count the holes and make sure that thing is level. Now I've decided on this video to put my zipper on the back of my coin purse instead of at the top where it would be centered pretty much. We're just doing a little something different. You can place these zippers wherever you want. And I know you all are sweating over the zippers. It's really easy. This, on this video, is my third zipper ever in my life being sewn in. And you'll just see how easy it is. All right, so that middle part is where your zipper is going to go. I'm just taking that out. OK, so our coin purse is pretty much ready. Now, if you're going to do any sort of embellishment or use of other stitching dies, um, these are from the Seasonal Stitching Easter Eggs collection, eggs collection, and they're a little different. It's a heart. Um, it all has to be done first thing before you do any stitching. You make all your cuts, all those uh, additional details you want to add. But you know, you have your cutting machine out. Go run it through. And again, like all our stitching dies, um, they cut holes and shapes for you. 
All right, so this little heart is going to come out of the middle and there's going to be stitching holes all the way around. It's going to be more like a patch. And here's the companion to that. Again, these are the seasonal stitching egg dies. And we're using autumn rose felt here. And like I said, I'm doing all my cutting first before we do any assembly. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and stitch in this heart. And it actually goes on the back. And the stitching kind of outlines it on the front. I'm using um, floss, two strands, embroidery floss that matches the autumn felt. And I'm stitching through the coin purse and this little patch in the back. And I'm doing a running stitch, which means I just go in and out, in and out, all the way around. And then to demonstrate how I do all my stitching, um, we're going to take this all the way around and then I go all the way back and it fills it in so it's a solid stitch line. And this is how I prefer to do it. I am by no means a sewing expert. I like making these dies because I don't know how to sew and I want to make little sewing projects. And this is my little uh, get around my lack of skill with the sewing machine. So if you have a better way and are more experienced than me, then do that. But for me, I like this little running stitch. I'm just going in and out of the holes. And you can see how that little autumn rose felt is stitched in an outline. It's really kind of cute. It's almost like a little patch. So I'm going to take it all the way around and then I'm going to go all the way back and then tie it off in the back. And these little coin purses are quick little projects. It's great to cut everything out and take it with you or uh, I like to be busy when I'm watching TV. I'm not real content just sitting there. Um, I'll fall asleep at this point in my life, so I need to be doing something. And this is a good project. You get to be crafty, but you kind of get to relax at the same time. So that's why I like these little felt projects. Okay, I've made it all the way around. And now I'm going to do a running stitch, stitch back in the other direction and fill in those open places between the holes. And it's going to be a solid stitched line. And when I do the zipper and when I sew the coin purse together, this is my technique. Running stitch one way and then I go back filling in the holes. Okay, I'm all the way done. I'm going to go ahead and tie this off in the back, but you can see it's a little patch. And we're going to go ahead and move on to our zipper. It's a piece of cake. Now sometimes with the stitching holes, the fibers keep the punch outs in the felt. And so I'm just using my needle to demonstrate how you just poke those out real quickly. Okay, this is a four inch zipper. I got this on Etsy. Just go ahead and type in on Etsy four inch zipper. And the four inch is what you need to go across horizontally. And it fits right in that open slit created by the zipper die. Now, you could pin it. Or I have these little clips in my scrapbook stash and I'm gonna clip one end and I'm gonna open it up and I'm just gonna kind of clip it in place like one would use pins you could use binder clips pins again I'm not you know a sewer really which is ironic I realize so I don't have the traditional techniques I'm just going with what works and we're just going to go ahead and get some floss on a needle and we're going to start. I'm going to show you this is actually not difficult. All right, with your fingers you kind of hold, you work with your fingers to keep things together. In the lower part of the zipper that's open, there's two holes. I'm going to make sure I s put stitches through the lower part of the zipper and both those holes. And then on the upper part, there's two holes too. And I'm going to make sure those stitches 
go in the top half of the open zipper in the back, securing my zipper to my coin purse. Again, I'm doing this running stitch in, out, in, out, not backtracking. And now I'm going to round the corner. And the whole time I'm using the clips in my fingers to make sure my zipper, the actual zipper part with the teeth, is um, a nice distance from the edge and even. Super simple. I cannot stress this enough. This is my third zipper in my life I've ever put in. And you're going to see that I did it fine. We're just doing an in and out stitch using the holes created by the stitching die. They're nice and even. Um, another thing I should note is that they are maybe a quarter inch apart, these stitches. So it doesn't take a lot of work to cover some ground on these projects. It's not like the um, like the sti other stitching dies where the holes are closer together because it's more of a detailed thing. We need to cover some territory here. Okay, as you see, I did the running stitch all the way around the zipper and I'm coming to where I started originally. I took all my binder clips out because the stitches are holding my zipper in place. And now I'm just going to go back in the other direction. You think it's easy, right? I mean, it's really not hard. So again, on Etsy, um, you want four inch zippers to create this traditional coin purse or the zipper opening for more of the pencil case is a six inch zipper. Just go to Etsy, type those in, and you will find nothing but colors for relatively cheap, like 45 cents a zipper. You have to buy like five or 10 of them. Um, but if you're gonna be doing lots of these little projects, it's worth it. I went to a fabric store, uh, about two fifty for an in two in four inch zipper. So it's more economical to go to Etsy. All right, I'm tying it off and there you go. My zipper is in place. And now I'm just trimming the edges of the overhang off. So simple. You can do this. There you go. And now we're going to stitch up our coin purse. There is an even amount number of stitches on each side. So you're not going to have like a lone hole. Um, they stitch up evenly. So what you basically do is just fold this in half and start stitching with the running stitch. Make sure you get through both sides. It's a little tricky. Try not to catch it on your zipper. Just back and forth. And I have gone all the way around and now I'm coming back. And let me show you a little trick I do. I pull my thread through and then I put my needle through the middle. So now I have two loose ends between the two sides of the felt. So when I tie my knot, it's hidden inside. And we're going to trim the loose ends. There you go. Super cute, super easy, and you did a zipper. And check this out. It holds a gift card. How handy is that going to be? Or, you know, your license and your credit card or, you know, something really you just, you don't want to travel with a purse. You'd rather just slip something in your jacket pocket. Yay. And trust me, the zipper is easy. Don't be afraid of the zipper. All right, and there's the pencil case. I just folded it in the opposite direction and used the six inch zipper. And here is a super elaborate, all the bells and whistles coin purse, which I'll show hopefully on another video how to do some of that stuff. Okay, I hope you are as excited about these little projects as I am and not afraid of the zipper. It's easy and you're gonna totally wow your friends when you make these and give these away as gifts. And you might even wanna use some for yourself, that, uh, that elaborate one with the birds, I'm keeping that. 
I loved it. Okay, thanks for joining me. And remember, the coin purse dies are available at Paper Tray Inc. on March 15th at 10 p.m. I hope you try them out. Thanks.